Chandrayaan, UP Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath, he's announced that the moon landing by Chandrayaan 3 is uh, Chandrayaan 3 will be telecast live in all state-run schools in the state of Uttar Pradesh. Schools will open specially for one hour in the evening for the viewing of the landing of Chandrayaan 3. Now, citing instructions of the state government's education ministry, the UP government has said that on the 23rd of August at 5.27 p.m., the Chandrayaan 3 moon landing process will be telecast live on the ISRO website, YouTube channel, and DD National. In such a situation, arrangements have been made for live telecast by organizing special meetings in schools and education institutions from 5.15 to 6.15, one hour's time. The expected and scheduled time of landing is 6 p.m., 4 minutes, 18.04 hours tomorrow on the 23rd of August. And meanwhile, a very welcome step coming from the Uttar Pradesh uh, government, but at the same time, some reactions coming across from the children uh, over there. Let's listen in to those happy voices as well. One of the main subjects I'm excited to watch how we are going to achieve this success, I like to wish to all the team members who worked hard behind the project for achieving the great success in the future. And I and our school will going to be see the landing of Chandrayaan 3 uh, in, with together. And I pray and I wish that the landing will be successful. And uh, I pray for the team members who have worked hard for this. Uh, surely they will achieve the best. First of all, I'm very excited that India will be the first country to land on the southern side. And I'm truly grateful for it. And I'm also praying, uh, praying that it will be landing successfully. And as a young learners, we are all praying for the better future. And I'll, like this coming years or are the years that will be ahead will be more of achievements and successful things. So I'm also praying that it happens. Well, so that's the word coming across from all the students. Look at them, uh, waving the tricolor. Well, so those are the students over there chanting yeah. India, India in unison. And why shouldn't they? I think tomorrow the entire country is going to chant India, India in unison because it is going to be a big red letter day, a historic moment. It's countdown not just to a landing, a Chandrayaan touchdown. It's a countdown to history, a testament to all the vision, uh, visions of all the former prime ministers combined, a testament to the hard work of the scientists at the Indian Space Research Organization and a testament to the resolve and the collective will of the people of India. People were trying to draw comparisons with Russia's Luna 25. People have been trying to draw comparisons between own Indian uh, prime ministers and what work was done under which prime minister, who should take credit. But away from the space race for credit, the idea is that it is India that is going to uh, put its tricolor on the moon, on the dark side of the moon. It was Chandrayaan 1, no matter whose government, that we found water on the lunar surface. Mangalyaan, another important ISRO uh, maneuver, and PSLV. Uh, and GSLV, our launching vehicles, uh, becoming the niche for the global market, not just India or South Pacific, for the global market to send their orbits into their uh, you know, desired and prescribed uh, orbit lines. India has been doing that. India's steps have been leaps, quantum leaps, if I could put it that way. Well, so tomorrow, 18.04 is when the time, is, uh, the time that has been given, the scheduled time for landing. The message from Chandrayaan 3 as it moves closer and closer to the landing site. The mission is on schedule, systems undergoing regular checks. It seems everything right now is going fine. This tweet from uh, Dr. Jitendra Singh, who's the Union uh, Minister of State for Space Research, for Space Tech. Uh, he says, here are the images of the moon captured by the lander position detection camera, the LPDC, 
from an altitude of just around 70 kilometers. We're going to go as close as 800 meters before finally, you know, those retrospective firing take pl takes place and we slower our lander absolutely down. Some latest information that's being put across and put out on the, uh, you know, microblogging website. Uh, the LVM3 uh, forward slash Chandrayaan, the special dedicated page, um, as well is putting out minute to minute updates of exactly what's happening. We have in fact made connection with the Chandrayaan 2's orbiter that was still doing its rounds in the lunar orbit. We've made connection to that as well. So everything going absolutely fine so far. So far, so good. Again, what K7 said, even as these pujas, these havans, uh, you know, various kinds of celebrations continue to take place. People have put out, uh, you know, gold made uh, prototypes of the of the lander itself, uh, trying to imitate what the lander and the rover look like. Uh, there is so much that the lander and rover is also going to uh, achieve when it comes uh, to scientific experiment. Um, but all fingers crossed, it's all going so far. It's so good. K7 said that last time around in Chandrayaan 2, it was only the last one hour where they finally saw complications. So until we reach that last one hour, well, uh, it seems like it's all going to be a smooth sail. What's going to happen after that? And have we really learned from the mistakes of Chandrayaan 2? Uh, that is going to be a bigger test for us. Again, 23rd is the date, but uh, ISRO scientists have come out and they've said that this date might be postponed to 27th if the conditions don't suit a possible landing. Because let's not forget what happened with Chandrayaan 2. We should not be forcing our lander on the lunar surface. Another reason for that is to derive maximum utility of the lunar, uh, you know, sun, sunrise and uh, solar rays on the lunar surface uh, because our rover and our Vikram lander are only going to be powered by these solar rays. So if the day gets over, if the, if it's, uh, you know, if the sunrise, uh, we missed the sunrise on the lunar surface, then we missed out on good 14 days of research, which is why uh, it's, it's, Highly plausible that we're going to uh, touch down on the 23rd, but there's a slight chance. This is what the ISRO scientists are telling us. There's a slight chance. And there's no hiccup in that. We're just going to push, postpone it to derive maximum utility of our scientific experiments.